There's a massive issue here. And, oh, we're dead. Dude, we kind of glitched through there. Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixar with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. A lot of stuff happened in the last episode, which uh, didn't make me too, too happy. So if you guys missed last episode, uh, we tamed a pterodon, then flew out, <laughs> died, came back to our base, tamed up another pterodon, flew out, grabbed our pterodon, the other pterodon, brought it back to the base. Then we took our other pterodon, which was level 50, we flew out, it was adventuring, saw some skeletons that were only level 10 there. Then I came back here. Oh, it murdered us and our pterodon, sorry. Then we showed up back here. And then uh, we went back out with our other pterodon to ret retrieve our body. I was struck by lightning. So we have a pterodon way out there. We lost everything that was on our body other than what's on our belt, which is, which is okay. We can always, you know, remake everything. It just takes time. Kind of sucked. But that's life, right? So, uh, after that, I was doing some uh, building behind the scenes. And I forgot that we could build a raft. So, I built a raft. And I was thinking, you know, I took it out for a spin. And there was a bunch of stuff bumping into our boat as we were do as we were going. I was like, what was that? And it was an ichthyosaurus. <laughs> so, I tamed up an ichthyosaurus. Which is awesome. They're pretty cool. This one is... Sorry, level 13. Uh, health, stamina, you know, 43, 240, food, weight, weight is 468. Not the greatest, but, you know, it's something. At least we have water transportation. You guys see this? It's a dragonfly over here. Okay. Okay, now fish are starting to spawn in. I was just swimming around like two seconds ago, and there was no fish to be found. So, let's see if we can take on this angler. Don't try and spin faster than us. Alright, we'll, we'll swim away and then we'll come back. Well, that's kind of interesting because the ichthyosauruses are actually fairly easy to tame. Um, you just feed the meat, and they're a passive tame. Uh-oh. Okay. Up to the surface, and uh, they swim to you, pretty much. They, uh... Oh, we ran out of stamina on our guy. Well, that could be an issue. And what is that over there? Okay, let's try and swim away a little bit further this time. I'd rather not lose a, a tame we just got. Oh yeah, everything's spawning in. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna die. Oh, that's close. Up to the surface. Up to the surface. There we go. That was super close. Super super. <laughs> I wonder if we can. Uh, wrong one. Force feed these guys. Yes, we can. Get some of that life back. And you ate all your meat. But yeah, so far, other than that angler and this couple other weird looking things, doesn't seem like it's, you know, too dangerous to be in the water. Um, I haven't seen a megalodon yet. I think they're in the game. There is a megalodon. You know, I knew they had to be out here somewhere. But alright, let's uh, go and park this guy back at the base. Now, I didn't do much messing around with the, the raft, as you guys can see. Uh, I didn't see if you could, if we could put anything, or build anything on it. Uh, I don't even think we'll ever use it, but it's here. And we're, we are level 30 now. Uh, as soon as I put this point in. For health. Which is awesome. Yeah, get out of the way, everybody. For a couple of reasons. But the main reason is now that we, we can aim a Triceratops. So, we gotta look at our Ingrams. Let's go to Saddles. Angler, yeah, an angler saddle, triceratops top saddle, raptor saddle, even. Ore detector. Put the ore you want 
is detecting this out slot top left corner of the inventory and then put it on the coal mineral to start detection. If the ore you want is detected, you will see a green light. If not, you'll see a red light. That's kind of cool. Um, do I a saddle? Yeah. Spray gun. Copper bone sword. Sounds good. And armor. Okay, what else can we build? Is there anything up here? Or, I guess, get an Ingrams? Bug repellent? Yeah, okay. Fur clothes is probably going to be a mandatory thing. Ice cellar, angler saddle. Let's take a look here. What does it take to make a triceratops saddle? Leather and wood. We have plenty of both. Uh, I'm going to put the light helmet on. Because we don't have any torches yet. I'll put that away. Yeah, we had all of this here before. But then I was like, we need more room for storage. And I don't 100% like it here, but it's... You know, I, I dug a little hole up from the outside in, and I was going to build a cellar, but I decided just to build underneath here. So these, all of these are in reach of the mortar and pestle and workbench, but the leather is all upstairs. Now, there's another thing I wanted to check out today. We have the elevator, right? Now, I want to check this out. Wooden lift track. Oh, well, we should probably make the platform first. Now, let's just make two, and we'll see. Because what I'd like to do is, instead of this ladder here, build an elevator straight up and down, right? No ground to snap point. So it has to be on ground. Okay. We're going to have to go, we're going to have to dig all the way down first and then build our elevator up. I'm willing to put in the time. But we're going to need a lot of resources and therefore, so what I've heard is that uh, triceratopses are awesome for collecting fiber and wood for us. So we're going to try and tame up this level 33 Triceratops here. It's going to take a while, but he has a passive tame, so... And there we go. Took quite a while for us to actually tame him up. The first berry that I used, the Tinto Berry, seems to take forever before the before they become hungry again. So as soon as I switched over to the Mayho, it was a little bit faster. But it still took, uh, I think, beating him like 15 times just to level him up with the uh, taming rates turned up. So let's equip the saddle. Alright. So... Let's see, how fast is he? Getting seeds and thatch, okay. No fiber so far. That is a little disappointing. Still nothing. Not overburdened, oh he's just out of stamina. That didn't take long. Fiber's going to take us a little bit longer. And we're getting a lot of seeds. I think there's a couple of different things we can use the seeds in. But yeah, we can definitely start a farm too now. Uh, as soon as we build the base. Our base that we have right now, you know, works for us at the moment. Knock it down. There we go. Going to have to increase the overall size of our base. I think I want to do that soon here. So we'll be able to like flatten everything out here and make a massive base. Especially one that we can actually store our dinos in. We're getting a lot of seedlings too, right? So that is a huge plus. Are you going to knock it down or not? There we go. Oh, we'll never need thatch again. They walk so slow. So, so slow. Let's jump off of our guy here. Let's open up his inventory. And let's see how much wood he got for us. I don't want the thatch. Not yet. Watch, we're probably overburdened. Not quite. Do we have anything in here? A bunch of fiber. Put all this wood in here. And I guess we might as well start digging. The Triceratops is pretty cool, but... Yeah, I'm going to start digging down. Let's get this elevator on the go. I don't even know how big the platform is. Can we actually see what the, how big the platform is? Like this, that, eight. Okay, so the platform should hopefully fit inside of our hole. We might have to big, make it bigger, but we'll see. All right, so we made it all the way to the bottom. There is a windstorm going on right now, so uh, that's what you're seeing the fog from, I guess. But yeah, there's this new material here, which we can't mine yet. I'm guessing this is probably gold. And then we have this, which is marble. Run into it. 
a little a couple of times on the way down i'm hoping that you can stop the elevator whenever you want but you can kind of just you know get off at certain areas because we ran past or we went past quite a few different types of resources and then this below us is bedrock so yeah a little bit of flint down here gonna have to do a lot of different mining down here unfortunately we have a resource that's in our way let's still see if we can't I guess build this okay perfect ish I would like us to build it exactly where uh, the ladder is we might just have to demolish everything and start fresh right yeah we'll figure this out okay yeah so we'll climb up here a little bit I won't show you all of it because it's quite deep as you guys can see in the far distance there you can kind of see that mine marker but uh yeah there's a ton of marble here we didn't hit lava which is perfect there's some more what i'm gonna say is gold and then something else there oh we also found uh sorry found quartz on the way down right there no copper so that's that's all right and then, yeah, whatever that is, emeralds. Almost there. There we go. All right, so it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, just in case any of you guys do decide to do this, uh, I'm seeing the top left corner. It says uh, there's a little picture of, like, mountains. And then it says one, 101 beside it. That's our elevation from bedrock. I didn't know it was, you know, I thought there might have been a negative m number for the bedrock. But anyways, that's how far we are from bedrock. And each one of these uh, elevator frames, or lifting track, they're only two high, they're two blocks high, so whatever your elevation is at the starting point, just divide by two, and that's how many you'll need for when you go down. But this thing is actually really cool. I wish it was in more games. Actually, you know what? Stop. Okay. So there's going to be an issue there. I guarantee you that. There's a massive issue here. And, oh, we're dead. Dude, we kind of glitched through there. We glitched in and yeah. That's what happens, right? That's alright. We'll respawn on the bed. We can go all the way down and grab our... Why is our bed out here? Oh yeah, we have two beds. Forgot. Alright, so let's uh, jump on this. So this one, as you guys can see, there's the enable. And as you can see right there in purple writing, it says 79.22 out of 700. So we can lift. it can lift 700 pounds by itself. Oh, it is the track. Okay, that's weird how the track has... One thing, maybe you have to keep thatch in there to keep it repaired. Whatever. Now we need, just need some elevator music, and hey, this would be awesome. If we can't find it on our way down. I honestly thought it was the platform, so... <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. One of these has like 200 thatch in it. Oh, we're almost to our body. See the glow? So you don't have to like make uh, special little stations for it to stop on or for floors or anything like that. Now, I think there's an upgraded version of this, like metal. A metal version. So we'll keep that in mind as we're going along here. Are we going to crush our body? Hey, look. Access inventory. Access inventory. Take all. Thank you. Might as well check it out, but let's click this. Oh, I bet you we don't have any wood. Thatch. We need thatch. Uh, we can get thatch, actually. Probably gonna take a lot, right? Uh, 15? Alright, I'll get enough thatch for us while we're down here, because what I want to check out is whether or not... Uh, we can build a chest on it. And just have it go straight up to the surface, right? We'd also, we'd have to build two different elevators, but it wouldn't be too bad, like, it wouldn't bother me that much if we had to. And do we have enough now? We do. Like that. It doesn't look like it wants to let us do that, which kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I hear something. I completely forgot. I was like, yeah, why don't we check other stuffs in our ingram? And we can make a pistol now, which I want. Simple scope, sure. Flashlight attachment. Yes, please. Gunpowder. Bullets. 
silencer. I'd like a rifle, but you know what? I'll take the pistol to begin with. Just trying to see here. Light gun? That's I'm not 100 percent sure what that long neck rifle is at 57. Okay. Magical. Magic workbench? Shining wand. Mole pick. A special pick made from the claws. Dropped by magic moles. Can only be crafted from magic workbench. Elemental magic shield. Magic moles saddle. I don't know how I know at the bottom. Uh here, yeah, let's go into the craft here. Mage weave bark. Primary magic core, we found those in magic wood. Don't ha haven't figured out either of those. I'm guessing that's probably in the dark place where you see the werewolves. Or where we've seen the werewolves. I'm guessing that's probably where they're at. Alright you guys, so we're going to have to go on the hunt for whatever this, uh, what is it, Mage Weave Bark and Magic Fiber is. And I'm not 100% sure where that is. I have a, or where to find it. I have a feeling that it's in... Uh, the magical forest or magic forest, which you guys can see is like a purple ish zone. I don't think we've actually passed over any of it, but we got a lot accomplished today. We uh, tamed an ichthyosaurus, well, or I did behind the scenes. We tamed a triceratops. We built our elevator for our mine, and uh, we're just on the verge of, you know, exploding um, and making a huge base here. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.